and some kind of an electronic wrapped up inside of, oh, it's something that's made, oh, wait a minute. No way. That sells for $1,700. $1,700. This is Ellie. Hello, Ellie. Come here. Come here. She's a neighborhood, neighborhood sweetheart. Come here. Come on, I know. Come here, come give me some love. Oh, you're such a good doggo. You're so big. You're so big. You want me to let Tank out? Ellie wants to play. Tank wants to pee on everything. Totally natural. You guys like my pig? Look at that bad boy. All right, so as I said, this was a $10,000 value palette. I bid on it online for $1,250. After fees and taxes, I paid about $1,471. That's about on par with what I was spending last year. So $1,471 in theory, I paid 14.7% of the value of this palette. We'll unstack everything. I'll show you what's in the palette in this video and then I think we'll make another video where I sort everything out and tell you, hey, look, we got this, this, and this, and we think those items are worth 100, 200, 20. So that way in that video, I'll be able to tell you, hey, this was missing pieces or this was completely broke. I'm not gonna have time to plug everything in today and to go through every single item and make sure parts aren't missing, but I can at least show you, hey, these are the items I got in this palette, so. Yo. Okay. One of the first items I saw when I was unstacking the top of this before I drove home was one of these Apple TV containers. And I know from watching other videos on YouTube, these can be worth some money. I believe the original piece of tape is on this. Oh! So like I said, I don't have time to value check every single item. I just have to get all this stuff inside. I bet there's, there's probably two to 300 items in this palette. So I don't have time to value check everything. We'll do that in another video. Besides that, we have a ton of blackout curtains. And although that sounds kind of cheesy, those things sell really good on Facebook Marketplace. Another thing I should add while the dogs are over here wrestling and getting covered in slobber. Last year and the year before, I only used Facebook Marketplace and garage sales. And I was doubling and tripling my money on most pallets. I did not use eBay. I did not use Amazon or anything like that. I didn't use any selling app. I have been using eBay this year, but I'm reaching a lot more people obviously with eBay. So this year we're gonna use eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and I'm probably still gonna do garage sales. This appears to be like a women's frog tog suit, like black pants and a pink top. And it feels like the hanger's even in there. That's kind of interesting. Why would there be a hanger in with a raincoat? We have unknown boxes. We're gonna have to check some of these. I have no idea. Unknown. Humidifier, some children's games and electronics. A memory foam pillow, and I believe it's in the shrink wrap. If this is still in the shrink wrap, that means this is a brand new item and it might be worth some good money. A virtual reality headset, but I can feel everything inside here is loose, so we'll have to open that up. More curtains, lots of curtains. Blackout curtain covers. Last year, we had a set of curtains and they retailed for $115 and they were brand new with the paper. Let's see, a milk frother. I don't know who uses that, but a milk frother. Is that for like coffee? Here's a big dollar item, I'm assuming. If this is here and this works, it is an amp for like a vehicle. This is like a stereo amp. It is opened, but as long as this is there and it operates, these can be worth some money sometimes. Wireless headphones. All right, I just unloaded a bunch more onto the tailgate and this brings up something else I really should probably say. This is probably something I will keep if it works. The stuff that we keep, I put that towards the value that I in theory make because I've needed one of these. I've been borrowing this from my boy Alex for like two years. I need my own little nail gun. We have a couple of unknown boxes with no information. We'll have to get to those in the next video. A TV or computer stand, a handheld steamer for like steaming your clothes like while it's on a hanger xbox controllers your boy used to have that 40 to 1 kdr on cod modern warfare one boy i'm old 
another amplifier of some sorts, a Bluetooth amplifier, some kind of an electronic part. I'll have to ask my boy Nathan. Hey, what's up, Bighorn? 2234 amp magnetic switch, 5 HP 220 240 volt. Nathan, whatever that means, comment below, bro. Let me know if it's worth some money, son. How is this a pan and a lid? How could this possibly have a pan and lid inside of it? Oh, it's a mini keyboard. Okay, okay. A mini keyboard. I'm guessing that's not a cheap item. A bunch of video games. So we have at least five copies of Cyberpunk 2077. Another one of these bad boys. I thought it was another VR set, but this is a magnifying headset with an LED light, I guess, so you can work on like maybe computer parts or really small things. Some kind of a wall scanning device. It like scans where there's pipes or studs in your wall and it identifies what it is. A leapfrog. I'm being told that we're keeping this item. Some more Christmas decor, some little pine cones, <laughs> pair of Chuck Taylor style shoes. They're called what, Coco? But they're Baltimore Raven edition and they're like a small female shoe. Porcelain dinner plates. All right, if you know what this is, comment below. I'm not gonna have time to open this today. It says T-U-O on it. And a juicer. Some kind of a giant juicer. I just want you guys to understand, I'm not even halfway through this. Looking down in there, there's a lot of good stuff, guys. A sewing machine. One of those wall phone things again, like see pipes through the walls. This is a deadbolt set for like a front door, another humidifier, another magnifying headset. This is not a wireless headset, but it's like an office headset. It actually has like adjustable stuff on the side um, and a very nice speaker. So you can, you know, like do office work, I'm assuming. Have conference calls, probably a big deal during COVID. Some kind of destroyed box, don't even know what it is. It just says Lamb and Ivy Company. A two channel line output converter, something to do with stereo systems. A tire gauge, like the little thing that you fill up your tire with. It's so random, this stuff is so random. NBA 2K21. Uh, a dish rack. Who knows if it's all there. Somebody probably tried to put it together, couldn't figure it out, so. A plush nativity set. Steve Madden shoes. Now again, I guess shoes sell really, really, really good on eBay. And these are men's size 11. So I'm hoping that means that these are gonna sell but I have no idea how much something like this is worth and I don't even know what they look like. It's taped shut. Another Bluetooth amplifier, compact five channel amplifier. This is a Columbia quarter zip, long sleeve shirt. And it has like, I think that's the Northwestern like Wildcats or something. And some kind of an electronic wrapped up inside of, oh, it's something that's made. Oh, wait a minute. No way. No. No way. We're about to open this right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, a Sony A7? No way. No way. Where'd that battery go? No way. Oh, it's just the charger. No way. What? <gasps> no freaking way. <gasps> oh, I'm losing my mind right now. Oh. Okay, so there's no battery included. Oh my goodness. Oh, if this works, we are in the game again though this is one of those things i would keep probably i think this is really expensive i think this is an expensive item guys oh my goodness got the flip up screen oh my goodness you guys we might be in the freaking juice right now that sony ax7 triple i camera sells for 1700 dollars $1,700 for that camera, just the camera alone. A $1,700 camera, are you kidding me? It'd be a lot better than this camera, goodness gracious. That one camera could potentially pay off this entire palette and everything after it's 
complete profit. Or I can keep that camera and use that for all my YouTube endeavors. Another Xbox controller, another wireless headset by Steel Series, a pot and pan. Now I don't see what the problem is because it looks like it's in great shape. Great, hey, you have pots and pans at a garage sale? Bro, all the Karens show up. Every single one of them. Ooh, one of the hubs for smart things, a waffle maker. Another milk frother, what's wrong with you people? Unknown box. Unknown. Something Christmassy, because I see a Christmas hat and some baby Jesus. Another multi-output like stereo system. Oh, Bluetooth Margaritaville Tiki torches. The August Smart Lock Pro. I had a couple of these last year, sold one for $90. Bluetooth Smart Deadbolt. A heated massage neck pillow. More tools. Obviously, tools sell really, really good. This is a 32 piece kit oscillating tool. All I know is these suckers cut like everything. Every man needs one of these. You never know when you have to cut random things or bones. A TV mount for the wall. This is gonna be hard to know if all the pieces are there. I unloaded a bunch more stuff onto the tailgate. First thing I wanna show you is a lens for a camera. If I had to guess, Sam Yang, but I bet you this lens fits that Sony A7. If this fits that Sony A7 and both of these work, oh, I think I made some money, but we'll see. We don't know yet. A copy of Fortnite, some cheap binoculars. I mean, that kind of stuff sells good, but they're like a no name. An unscented candle. <laughs> Who's buying this stuff? No wonder they returned it. Here is some kind of a monocular, an emergency radio scanner. So like maybe you put this in your boat in case like you get lost at sea, I don't know, or you go camping. Another one of these 4K HD TV like little things. Um, oh, this sucker runs Android TV. Mm, a Little Mermaid musical snow globe. So this doesn't have anything on the box, but I think, oh, it's a faucet. So some kind of like a brush nickel faucet, a fossil watch that looks to be in perfectly good shape. So this is a little pin. You run it across the letters on books and it reads it off to you. A four piece kit for large and small wheels, universal dual wheel separator. All right, I'm not a mechanic but this is a wheel separator. I'm guessing like to separate the wheel from the rotor and the hub and all that stuff. It appears like it is all there. Uh, another pair of cheap binoculars, an electrical timing box, Columbia boots. These are, these have never seen the ground. These bad boys are brand new. 400 gram Thinsulate waterproof Columbia boots or a pair, yeah, Ugg boots. These are called W Kesey. They're like a leather with a buckle. They're taped down, so I don't want to open them yet. But Ugg boots, another hand steamer, add in 21, a smart Wi-Fi camera with dual lens, another unknown box. This is a big one. I bet this is a high dollar item if this bad boy works. This is a range finder. For those of you who don't know what a range finder is, this is a golfing edition. It's made by Bushnell but golfers use this to see how far they need to hit the ball. How far is the green? How far is the fairway? Whatever. Hunters use it for archery or shooting and sharpshooters use it. Marksmen use it for competition, things like that. These are usually worth anywhere from 150 to like $350. I'm assuming a Bushnell brand is probably pretty expensive. So we're gonna have to put a battery in that bad boy, make sure it works. Another Xbox controller, another wireless gaming headset with a micro with a microphone that comes across the front some workout equipment it's like the little uh, bars with the straps that you can like hang from a door frame and do like push-ups sit-ups pull-ups do all kinds of stuff with them um, an unknown box another comforter now this one is kind of in a bulky package but it's in a very nice container can you see that it says goose it's upside down goose down comforter so this might be a pretty expensive comforter it looks like it's just white skinny tumblers a stand for a Christmas tree. More wireless cameras. These ones are Motorola. This uh, five inch video baby monitor with remote pan, tilt and zoom, two cameras set. Unknown, another unknown. But whatever it is, it's tumbling inside there. So it's probably not worth too much. Another set of wireless headphones with a microphone. I don't know what this brand is, HX. 
a Netgear router. A lot of these sell really well. So we'll open that bad boy up. More blackout curtains. They're kind of heavy. They must be blackout because they're heavy. And another, some kind of bed set, comforter set. So we're gonna be plenty warm. This is a digital electronic locking system for a car door. I don't know what this is. Phase Essential wireless controller for DVS with two remotes. I don't even know what that means, but it's a really fancy looking box. Something nice. Another set of wireless headphones. This one feels really light, not promising, and the box is destroyed. Another camera, DXR8 wireless digital video monitoring system, like a baby monitor. This is not promising, but this is the first time I've seen this. A box that literally says defective. Another one of these Apple TV things. This one's in a baggie and all it says is no destination information. I don't know, weird. Um, a tailgate handle for a truck. Oh, hoo -hoo. memory foam cervical pillow. More blackout curtains. Another Christmas tree stand, lame. A hand sanitizer automatic pump. Boom, big ordeal to me, a microphone. I have needed a nice microphone for a while now. Didn't really know like where to buy one or what to buy. I'll probably end up keeping this for my live feeds with Monster Bass, you feel me? Oh my goodness, this is untouched. Wireless headphones. These are completely untouched. The microphone little bendy boy has not even been bent straight as a whistle. This is brand spanking new. Timberlands? Oh, these butter be some t size 10 and a half men's. Oh boy. Your boy Brad, I don't wear shoes like this. It's just not happening. Never have, probably never will. But I do know that these sell pretty well and these look very clean, and they look like they've never seen the ground. <laughs> Smart Wi-Fi something, Sylvania, they make like lighting systems. A memory foam neck massaging pillow. Another TV stand. Another router. Let's see, another unknown. A fossil smartwatch. Look at that. A fossil electronic watch. Let's see. Another set of wireless gaming headphones. Another juicer. We have an all white, very clean box and it's got some weight to it. Oh, lithium battery precision electric screwdriver. An electric screwdriver? Another, another Bluetooth camera. Oh, I see what they did. What a bunch of dingleberries. They cut open their box and cut right through. Look at that. It's like a laptop briefcase. Oh, and they cut right through the package, right through the briefcase. Dingleberries, man. Another smart temperature, perfect for all fabrics, smart steam iron. Everything's smart these days. This is a mod pack that goes on the back of your video game controller. I don't know what that does, but it goes to a PS4 controller. Another set of wireless headphones and these safe for PS4, Xbox, or Switch, Kraken. I feel like that's expensive too. All this stuff looks expensive. Another deadbolt. Somebody probably, look how used this knife is. Somebody used this for probably a couple of years. So somebody probably ordered this two or three years ago and used the fire out of it, ordered a new one, and sent this old one back in the package. So it sucks that people are like that, but boom. Yes! We needed one of these so bad an electric knife sharpener. We have one from, I don't know, probably 10 years ago. A poly strap tensioner, a smart home video doorbell. So like a knockoff ring. I don't know if it's knockoff. I shouldn't say that. M-E-C-O. It's a very nice package. So maybe it's, maybe it's a very reputable brand, but I can hear something in there rattling. So I'll have to make sure everything's in there. It's a wireless home speaker. Oh, it's a touch lamp. So it's a wireless lamp that you put like on your counter. It's like white and gold and it's also lights up. So eh, it's kind of nice. Another door lock actuator, another deadbolt. Ooh, what? Just a straight up aux cord. Okay. Ooh, a sound bar. That could, that could potentially be worth some money if it all works. 
I don't know what this is. A Raycom. Don't know what that is. Another iron. Another handheld steamer. Another unknown. And, and some kind of Barbie Christmas figure. Oh, she's got like four leaf clover, so some kind of Irish Christmas Barbie doll? I don't know. All right. I don't think I'm gonna get much better lighting than this. All right, there it is, guys. That is what comes in a $10,000 Amazon return palette. All these, uh, all these randoms, I'm gonna have to make a video unboxing all these randoms that I don't know what they are. And I'm also gonna have to go through, through some of this stuff and make sure it works. So we're gonna have more videos rolling out. Stay tuned, thanks for being here, stick around. Make sure you like this video, comment below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.